Hello, Nick Leifker here, and welcome again to Management 409, Operations Management. For the past few weeks, we've looked at how to get stuff done. You know, we've looked at process management, we've looked at project management. So now we're going to look at other aspects of the business. Specifically, this week, we're going to look at inventory management. And I mentioned before that inventory is a lot like fat. It is the energy by which your business operates, the energy by which your business runs. However, if you have too much of it, it can weigh your company down, make it more sluggish, less responsive to the environment, and could possibly weigh your company down enough that it could shut down. So we have to be careful about how much inventory our company holds. It's just as the human body has the right amount of fat that it should have, you know, the healthiest amount of fat that it should have, the, hu the business has just the right amount of inventory that it should have in order to run properly. So what is that amount? Well, much of what we're going to talk about this week deals with that. Now, the amount well, it depends. It depends on the situation. It depends on how that inventory is used. It depends on how we look at that inventory. Now, in general, what we do is we look at several inventory management models. And the right model to use depends largely on the situation. For instance, what most people would think of with regard to inventory, you know, where you buy and then that inventory is depleted over time until such point that you have to order more. Well, there's a name for this model. We call it the EOQ, Economic Order Quantity Model. Suppose it's a case where we're making it rather than ordering it. So as we're making it, well, that means inventory slowly increases over time, but as we're making it, it's also going out the door. Well, there's a name for that model as well. We call it the Economic Production Quantity Model. Suppose we have uncertainty in our demand, and usually we have uncertainty in the demand. So what does that mean? Usually it means that we have to hold a little extra inventory just in case we have more demand than what we expect. And we call that extra inventory safety stock. So we'll see how to calculate safety stock and how to calculate the reorder point, the point at which we need to order more in our inventory situations. And then there's occasionally cases where what we don't sell, we have to get rid of somehow. You know, maybe we put it on a clearance rack. Maybe we have to just throw it away. You know, maybe we donate it. So what do we do in cases such as this? Well, in this case, we have a different model that we look at, a model that we call the news vendor model. So we have several different inventory management models that we need to look at in order to get an understanding of how much inventory we should have. And that is much of what we we're going to talk about this week. How much inventory should we have? How much inventory should we order? So, be well, study hard, have a good week.